Okay, let's pronounce some common verbs. Welcome back, it's learning. We're looking at future tenses. I shall. It's, it's what you think you're going to do because it's in the future. It's your plans. There's no way that anyone can actually prove it, but it's what you say. So I shall eat later. I shall have a new job. I shall go to the store. I shall eat scallops. I shall walk around the park. They shall find an iPad. And you see all these tenses are the same regardless of if we're dealing with plural or if we're dealing with single. You don't hear people say shall a lot because um, in all intents and purposes, it's just, it's, it's, it's a formal word. And, you know, uh, I shall return. You know, a lot of people will just take this off and they will say, I'll eat later. And for those of you who are just studying English, you won't really hear it. You'll hear them take out this A, this H, and this S, and it becomes I'll eat later. And that's an apostrophe. Okay, so, but this shall is already in there. And it is shall. It's not shawl. <laughs> shawl is, uh, shawl is spelled like this. And it's something you throw around your body. Uh, it might be shawl in certain regions with certain dialects, but it really is shall. So people say I'll, and then you will take this you, and you get an apostrophe here, and you'll go, you'll have a new job. Something, you know, your parents say to you when you first get out of school to, you know, help you feel better. We'll eat scallops. Same thing, we, apostrophe, LL. Same thing with heel, all of them, you know, if you're doing apostrophe. So you never hear this word, but it exists if you see it on an English exam or test. Shall is kind of formal. All of these are, even this is they'll. Apostrophe, they'll find an iPad because you're taking off the A, the H, and the S. You all, now this is funny. You keep this the same because you don't go you all or shall. You just go you all. You get that there. You take those off. Okay, I like stew with meat. I shall have some later tonight. I shall have later tonight is a condition based on if you actually get a chance. I hate to bring something up, but like, let's say, God forbid, there's an earthquake or something and you can't cook, the power's out. So you always accept that this is a condition and therefore we call it a conditional verb, okay? And you will see the condition in the second sentence. And the second sentence says, I have a new light bulb. If this one does not work, I shall use another one. Conditional future tense. She is 10 years old, so she should know how to spell the word. We're going to go over this because this is another condition. She should know because she's 10. It could be she, mixed, she missed school to COVID, didn't have straight days. And now, you know, she's a little bit not knowing and could be, as a lot of adults who don't really spell phonetically, or if they speak another language, they'll put an F because, you know, that's what it is. In Spanish, it's elefante, and this PH becomes an F, and yeah, neat. So a lot of people do that, and it's not that they're a bad speller, but this is just something, you know, generally a lot of teachers in elementary school go by. It's common sight word. So they put the they put this here. They'll say she should she should know. Number four, I could see the light if I would have a light to see you in the night. Conditional. It's kind of saying the person doesn't have a light. 
which is why they cannot see you. So they're saying, hey, maybe if you gave me a light, I could actually see you. And it's like when, like, uh, when your children come home and they say something like, I could have been here on time, but you locked the door. You know, <laughs> they say things like that. But that's, that's what this means. Okay, let's go over something again. You have could, should, would. Um, famous expression, a lot of people to remember these tenses go shoulda, woulda, coulda. Because it means I should, could have done it, should have done it, would have done it, but it wasn't done. And so it becomes like, it's just a slang way to remember those three conditional tenses. And that's what they are. They're conditional tenses. So I could have had an A, but I chose to go to a party instead. So could, went to a party. That's the condition that stopped me from getting the A. Check off could. Okay, I should have gone to the movies with Steve, but I decided to stay home since Steve left late. Meaning I should, I really should have done it, but you know what? I kind of wanted to get in bed, go to sleep early, kind of wanted to stay up and watch movies, so I just didn't do it. Should. Here's a big conditional. I would tell you the truth but you will not like my answer. I would tell you that I have a million dollars to give you in my hand, but you know that's a lie. It's kind of like I would do something that you already know uh, isn't going to happen, or I would go to the mall with you, but my mom says I have to be home by, by 10, and you get home at 11, you know, something like that. So those are really pretty much your tenses Really quick review. Thanks for watching. Have a good night.